Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your ninth HTML tutorial. Um, in the last couple of tutorials, we talked about uh, setting up our HTML documents, adding text, formatting text, adding hyperlinks, and stuff like that. So um, in this tutorial, we're not really going to be focusing much on text, but instead we're going to make a switch to adding images to our web pages. Um, this is images are obviously really important in web pages. Um, without images, they can kind of be boring and stuff like that. So I figured um, I'll show you guys how to add some images. And um, we'll talk about some of the attributes that go into the image tag. So let's begin by setting up our HTML page here. We'll add our body. Oops. And we'll go ahead over here and add our head. And within that, we'll put our title. So I figured I'm going to call this uh, adding images. And we'll save that and take a look at it here. All right, so you'll notice that everything's blank as it should be. So uh, let's go ahead and add our images. So in order to add images to your web page, um, you only need one tag, and that's the image tag. And what the image tag looks like is this, IMG. And um, within the image tag, there's going to be a couple attributes, um, including the source of the image, the uh, alternate text in case your image can't be loaded, and uh, we can also resize the image within the text. So um, let's learn how to do that. So uh, right now I have, if you notice, I'll go down to my desktop here. I have the image tag right here. I have the image that I'm going to be using right here within my desktop. So uh, I called it picture, and it's a picture I took while I was at school one day. Um, I think for it was for the assessment testing, but this is the picture that I'm going to be using. You can use whatever picture you want. Um, just make sure you know the location of the image. And um, you can also use a URL if you want to, but um, we'll show you about that in a little bit. So we come back over to our code here. Um, since the image that we that I'm going to be using is in the same folder as the HTML document, all I really need to do to add it is um, type in source, SRC, that's our attribute. Um, and it just means that we're the source of the location, kind of like uh, when you're typing in a hyperlink. Um, so what we're going to do that is we're going to type equals and then our, um, our quotation marks. So within these quotation marks, we're going to put the location of our image on the server or on your computer. And um, there's two ways you can do this. Since our image is right on the desktop in the same folder, essentially, or same directory as this uh, images.html page, all I need to do is type in the name of the picture. And it's called picture.jpg. Um, yours is obviously going to be different. Um, and make sure that you have the correct file type associated with it, the correct extension here. Uh, mine's a JPEG image, and uh, it's saved as .jpg. So that's it. This is um, really how you add an image to your web page. There's no closing tag. It's just one straightforward tag. So let's save this, and we'll come over here and take a look. And as you notice, the image that we have is here, but it's it's really big. It's uh, It requires you to scroll the browser. So we can fix this by going into our image tag here and adding two attributes. One attribute that we're going to be adding is called the height attribute. And just like any other attribute, it has um, an equal sign and a set of uh, quotation marks. And we're going to add the width attribute. And um, so what these allow you to do is adjust the height of the image, as in going up, and the width, as in going sideways. So uh, there's two ways you can do that. One of them is by you can just tell the browser how to display it um, by pixels, as in how many pixels high you want it and how many pixels wide you want it. Um, and the other one is by percentages, as in uh, what percent of the image you want displayed this way and uh, what percent you want displayed the other way. So I'll show you what it looks like if we add 100 pixels here. And uh, to denote that you want to use pixels, you just add the PX here. And we'll go uh, what is 250 pixels uh, wide. So if we save that, come on over here and take a look, you'll notice that our image is here, but it's a lot smaller. Um, and this is useful for if you're creating like a website with a photo on it. You don't want the whole page to be a photo. Um, you can just resize it this way without having to go into like a program like Photoshop or Paint and uh, resize it that way. But let me show you what it looks like over here if we resize it using percentages. So if you want the image, let's say, to be 50% of its size, you just go 50 and then use the percent sign. So if we come over here, we'll do the same. And we'll save that and refresh. And uh, you'll notice that the image here is a lot smaller than what it should be, or what, what the original size was. Um, and it's just it's kind of nice to be able to see it. So, uh, But you, you will notice that it's kind of stretched. It kind of looks like it's it's uh, not properly set up. But that's uh, you might have to play around to get the proper ratio. So 
since we have our image set up like this and it's good, it's on the page, uh, let me show you about another attribute, and that's called the alt attribute. Uh, we'll add it over here, actually. Um, the order of the attributes doesn't matter. As long as you have them all there within the tag, um, you should be fine. So the alt attribute allows you to display some type of alternate text just in case someone's browser doesn't display the image or um, perhaps they have images turned off. Um, it'll still display some text to let them know that there is an image there. So um, for this, we can just call it, uh, we'll call it Ocean Walkway. So if someone's, if someone's browser isn't able to display this image, they'll see the text Ocean Walkway. Um, and we'll add picture after it, it's just so they know that there should be a picture there. And the alt tag also can work with uh, URLs, stuff like that. Um, but I just figured I'd tell you a little bit about that, because uh, with images, uh, someone might not know what's supposed to be there. So if we save this up, come over here and refresh, uh, we can right click over here on our image, and we can go to View Image Info. I'll just bring that down here. And you'll notice that the associated text with it, or the alternate text, is uh, Ocean Walkway Picture. And um, this is just, again, what will show up if the image isn't displayed by the browser. So, and you'll also notice over here that the image's location um, is on my desktop, and it's called picture.jpg. So, there's also another way you can display the image, or two other ways, really. Um, if you're using an image that's on a different folder, um, just like with the hyperlink, hyperlink, hyperlinking to different pages, you can use the dot slash or dot dot slash, depending on the directory or folder that the image is in. And uh, it'll still display the image, because dot slash denotes the same folder. So if we come over here and refresh, you'll notice that our image is still displayed. So another way you can display an image is uh, by using a URL. So if you uploaded your image to, say, TinyPic or YFrog, or you're taking it from a TwitPic or something like that, um, all you need to do to put in here is the URL of the image. So um, it might be like twitpic.com slash, uh, I don't know, picture.jpg. And uh, that would stay, that would show up with with the image in your on your page. So um, just make sure that you include the full URL. So uh, that say technicalcafe.com/picture. And uh, that would be our, the URL of our image. There is no technicalcafe.com/picture, by the way. So uh, nothing will show up if you type that. Um, but basically, this is how you would go about adding an image to your website. Um, feel free to play around with it. Play around with the height and width, um, adjusting the pixels and the percentages. Um, just to see what it looks like. Maybe you can adjust your settings to see what the alt would look like if it would come up on your page. And um, this is basically it. Just uh, play around with it, get used to it. Um, and in the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about linking images so that if you click on a picture, it'll take you to, uh, like, say, google.com or something like that. Um, and let me just tell you one more thing about the images. If we add a center tag, and uh, this works with anything text, links, stuff like that, um, it'll actually move the image to the center of the page. This might be useful if you're making a page where you want the images in the center, like a resume or something like that. Um, so it'll just move it to the center of the page. And uh, this works with text, links, stuff like that. So uh, feel free to play around with that. Make sure that you know that you're doing everything right, styling it right, and um, have fun with it. Um, so the next tutorial again is going to be about adding uh, links to our images. So when we click on it, it'll take us to uh, the whatever website or folder or page of our choice. And um, it's, it's really simple. It's just like linking text. So um, Please feel free to subscribe if you're interested in seeing more tutorials. And um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please feel free to tweet me. Uh, I'm twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Uh, use the Technical Cafe contact page to send me an email or leave a comment. And I'll try to reply to those. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.